Good day everyone, hope you're all keeping well. Just out on the boat here and um, I wanted to, to talk to you all about something, you know, I, I've been having this issue for a while and uh, you know when somebody has an addiction maybe it's, it's best to come around and talk about it and that's the first way of dealing with addiction is acknowledging that you have it. So um, I have this obsession with fishing. I don't know if you all are aware of it and I hate my wrist I'm supposed to be resting my wrist because uh, it's given me a lot of issues over the last couple of days but you know um, I've, as, as Jason Tony would say I, I need my fix so I'm out of the boat here getting my fix today I'm gonna be using light tackle only and targeting fish under five pounds only and that's gonna be the game plan so let's see how it goes anything over five pounds is a loss of points anything below is what before let's go get it Here's the spot fellas. There's the spot folks. Only find him there, he dead. Oh no. Oh no, we drifted back. Oh no. Oh, water looking nice and clean in there folks. Oh lord, we're in. We're in by the next big stone. I go hard at start up. There you go take me. The big stone. Oh, fish on! Fish on! <laughs> what? I'm going by the stones, though, fellas. Oh, the ras! I have him. The ras! <laughs> Let me just come out of this spot there quick, yo. I'll show you all this fish. Alright, that's pretty cool. Drama, a little bit of drama for the fish for me. Got a ras. You don't get them often. Now, if you're all thinking this is a pirate fish, this is not a pirate fish. Um, this is actually a ras. Belongs to the ras family, which is like hogfish. Sometimes we call them hog snappers here in Trinidad. Um, I think it's called a Spanish hogfish as well, which is kind of the... They get purple when they get big, which they don't really get big. They get a little bit bigger than this fish. And uh, they get yellow and blue normally when you see them down the islands and that kind of... Whoa! That kind of stuff. So I'm going to release this guy. Uh, pretty cool catch though. Check this out. That's pretty cool. So beautiful fish, beautiful ras. Check the colors on that thing. Absolutely awesome. All right, I'm gonna get a nice safe release. They're actually pretty good tasting. So yeah, first fish on the board. And it's a pretty cool one, it's a ras. I'm pretty stoked on that. Don't get them often. 
Um, I didn't get to show you guys your mouth, but this hook is too big to fit in that fish's mouth. So you don't normally catch parrot fish on artificial lures, obviously, but a ras you will. Hope you enjoyed that catch, because I did. Definitely a little bit sketchy to be drifting by. I mind doing these things with like somebody else in your boat where somebody could fish and somebody could be by the wheel, but it's kind of hard to fish these spots by myself. Like I really want to fish up in here, but where the boat is going is not safe. Sure, y'all can see that reef right there. All right, should be clear of it. Should be able to come back in the bow and fish. Some top one down there. <laughs> Which I'm not really particularly fond of catching, to be honest. Not on my wrist, it in any way. <laughs> oh, was that a hit? Oh, yes. Yes, that was a hit. That was a hit. What is that? I assume a top and I didn't. All I saw was a splash. <laughs> nothing coming up to the surface. I don't know what top one. I'm trying to brace my wrist the best I can because I don't want to hurt it anymore. This isn't, yeah, it's just a small top one. Yeah. I'm trying to catch fish five pounds and under, folks. Five pounds and under is what I'm looking for, not this. I mean, it's pretty small, but five pounds and under is what I'm hunting for. Mr. Top on, you could jump off and I'll be quite happy. Now would be the perfect time to just <whistles> drop the hook. Uh huh. You will drop hook. Now's your best chance, buddy. Alright, doesn't look like we can, you will drop hook. Mr. Tops, we have you. Give up. Just give up, Mr. Tops. Please. Oh, oh yes, Mr. Tops. We have him. We have the old Mr. Tops. The old Mr. Oi! Mr. Top Oi! Mr. Tops. Yeah. All right, Mr. Tops. We go now. 
Alright, Mr. Top Boy. Alright, folks. The rest feeling for started this morning and it was like an 8 out of 10. Feeling like a solid 5 out of 10 right now. <laughs> This is, this is what I was telling you, like, I don't want to catch anything bigger than 5 pounds and that top one is like, I don't know, 10, 12 pounds. I'm feeling it. I can't do this much longer. You see how much I love fishing? You see how much I love getting your content? Yeah boy, damaging your wrist for the folks at home. Water is pretty nice in there actually. You can probably see whatever's swimming around, maybe. Oh, look at that. As I said, I look at Jack's under the boat. I wonder if I could get them to switch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's a bunch of moonshine too, look downs. That's cool. Uh, huh. Trying to figure out how to fish here. A couple big rocks are wrong, I don't want to get... You know what's funny? That when we can't see these rocks, we don't care, we just cast in there. Sometimes we get reefed and sometimes we don't. But now that I can see, kind of cautious where I'm casting because I know if I hook anything in between these rocks, uh, it's gonna be problems. Check this old moonshine on me. Alright. Going back with the top water. <laughs> Just because there's a few jacks around. A little bit too close in the bait really. I don't know. I feel like all the fish that I saw under the boat so I don't know if I'll get them to trigger so close to the boat probably came in a little bit too close oh my gosh I have to drive sunny next side of that big rock <laughs> oh gosh He's on your rock Oh no, he's on in next rock. <laughs> oh yeah, no way I'm getting this for sure. <laughs> this was a mess. Everything I did there was uh, like sketchy level 100 and um, for some reason I have a fish on my line still. It's so challenging trying to do these missions up in between these rocks by yourself because this happens you need somebody to drive you need somebody to kind of maneuver the boat 
and um, that got real sticky real fast fish went around a rock up inside there then it came out went around a rock out here now it's going back by the same rock it was by my wrist is hurting nobody to drive the boat it's in a rock again ah. you can see the rod tip twitching because it's just in a rock just came out I have no clue how this line didn't break is yet no clue and it's a jack of I haven't seen it but I know it's a jack nothing else is gonna blow up <laughs> top water like that and take into the rocks other than a jack not where I am anyway this is not Colombia it's just a small one too because I'm just using light tackle but it's here we reach the boat uh, I would have bet a lot that that fish would have never been able to been stopped <laughs> wow that's pretty impressive that I um, still have this fish on oh wow I almost just lost it <laughs> alright let me see if I get um, use the boga grip to get him I might lose it while doing this oh wow look at that leader chafed to the max So, for some reason, um, I was able to land this fish. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the reason is. I'm um, gonna reef three times, slack the drag, drove off, drove back. Jeez, that was a proper roundabout. And um, again, this fish is over five pounds, so. Oh, and it has something down in his, it has something down in his tummy. It's eating big baits. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it has something big down in the tummy. All right. I'm going to release this fish. Ah. All right. Yo, Jackos Maximus, y'all. Hey, big boy. Jacks are a beast, huh? They're honestly a beast of a species. I'm going back by the rock so <laughs> to move the boat. Um, they're such impressive fish with the power they have. Look how that fish has took me around the park three times and uh, just kicked off strong. Truly impressive fish. Anyway, what's that? A tarpon, a ras, and a jack for the day. It would be pretty cool if every species that I, if every fish I caught for the rest of the day is a new species. I know there's, there's banan, ladyfish around, so we'll see if I get one of those. There's a fair amount of chafe on the leader, but I mean, realistically speaking, it's still in good shape. Uh, the main line is going to be my concern, so I'm just going to cast it out and check it here. But I didn't, I didn't notice any chafes on the main line, maybe because I backed off the drag and um, just let it slide through the rocks rather than put pressure on it. That could have been the saving grace while I drove the boat to maneuver the boat around. Alright, going in the danger zone again. See how this works out. There was a few around when I um, first drove in, so I, I feel like I'll get another bite by another jack. Also did drive around inside it like a madman so <laughs> there's also the chance that everything got scared away whoa on me on me <laughs> once I go by the rock and then I'm taking it off what is this this is a, this is not a, um, a jack of all I know that so it might be a green back the old blue runner Sweet, it is. What, what is that? Something red is down there, like a snapper or something. That was interesting. Wow, big swells. 
That is fourth fish and fourth species for the day, folks. Big waves coming in. All right, I'm um, gonna just take it off right there. There you go, blue runner. Oh, the old karangas, as we say, in the trini. Four species, that's cool. Um, I'm just gonna drop a soft plastic down because I just don't know what that was under the boat. I think it was, um, it was red, whatever it was. Might be a snapper. So we're gonna find out. Well, we may not find out. <laughs> We never found out. All right. Well, I. Wow. I wanna swing. All right, folks. A little bit close to the rocks. A little bit close to the rocks. We're gonna start up just now. That's gonna be a problem in a couple of seconds. Let me see how fast I can wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Four fish, four species. Rest still intact. Hurts a little bit more than how we started off, but hey. We call it a day. Hope you all enjoyed. Catch y'all on the next one. So we are done for the day, but there is. I am on my way home, but I'm gonna show you all something. There's a huge log there. If you hit that any night with a boat, like that's it, your engine gone. If you hit that any groceries, you're gone, but they may have a triple tail on it, so I am going to boss out a little cast. Oh, oh, nice triple! Oh, nice triple tail on me, folks! Oh, yes, yes! I think there were two of them. Oh, I get it! <laughs> Yo, sticking it to home, man. <laughs> oh, I believe there was more than one, too. I don't think this was a big one. Let me see how he's hooked. I may need to go for grip. Great a triple tail. Great a triple tail. Wow. That's a nice size triple too, boy. How you seen this? As I said it too, I was like, that log is way too big not to have a triple tail on it. So I was like, let me let me throw out a little bit and see what's going on. And folks, we in them. <laughs> I don't realize I'm wearing my buff the whole time. <laughs> we end them just when you thought we was wrapping up the show. Should I cast for another? Let me see what's going on here. Let me see what's going on here. I am keeping this fish. That is a keeper, folks. Because that is a lovely eating fish. It's gonna stick in my head. I'm pretty sure I saw two of them, you know, but you know, we're gonna wrap it up. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is huge. Whoa. Some water in the boat. I put the water there so the um, triple tail can sail alive because I don't have any ice. But um, that was pretty cool, huh? Just wrapped up the video as any way home, saw the log on. So said, so done. Anyway, I guess we are now finishing the video. So, peace. So you all thought the video was finished? Well, I mean, I closed it off twice already, so why not just not close it off at all and keep it going? One filet, that's gonna be dinner. This is gonna be dinner, that's the second filet. Triple tail is one of my favorite fish to eat. Um, 
I'm gonna just dice it up for now, get some seasoning on it, and uh, actually, let me see what's inside there. Bertie's pepper sauce. Uh, nobody knows about this as yet, but they make. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be a continued thing, but I got a sample of uh, of some seedling that they make, and I'm gonna use it. I used it the other day. It actually, tastes exceptionally well. It's a pre season the fish, so I wanna season it with this, and I have undecided how we're cooking it yet, but we'll figure it out. Fish is cut up. We know we had that pre seasoning for the last couple of hours. I just made a dipping sauce and I got this dipping sauce idea from Kosem on his Instagram. I'll put the link in the description. I did not film me making this because I want uh, Kosem to get pretty much all the credit because I got the idea from him. And the dipping sauce actually put it, came out pretty good. So mine was slightly different to his own. I used a salt, black pepper, garlic powder, olive oil, and he used honey. I used like uh, blue agave instead. Um, lime, Bertie's pepper sauce, and mine is, and that's it. I have it right there. Yummy dipping sauce. It tastes, it tastes pretty good. It's real good. Um, for the fish, I'm gonna put normal Cajun off the off the shelf Cajun crispy fish fry. I have the fresh seasoning on it for the whole day. I'm gonna leave the fresh seasoning on it. Sprinkle a little bit of that batter on. And um, yeah, we're just gonna fry it up and make some fish wraps. Ariane is now waiting for some of the ingredients to add to the fish wraps. So we don't have any tomatoes in the house. I thought we did. She just ran out to see if we could get. Um, other than that, we have the wraps and the lettuce ready. So hopefully she gets that. And uh, she's probably gonna bring back a little wine for us to drink. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get frying. Look who's back! The tortilla girl. Oh god! Fried up fish, chunked up tomatoes, a savory day, sauce, lettuce, and you will sleep in baby. You gonna bring any wine? Yeah, I'll bring wine. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. 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 Critical folks. You have to do it in this order. It's the most important part. And then you get nice crumbly pieces here. Crumb is the best part. Sprinkle some of that fresh seasoning. That fried fresh seasoning. Oh, yes. Yeah. That was it there. Mm. Crunchy. Right. <laughs> Oh, and a special sauce. Mm, no sauce on that. Yeah, sauce it up, sauce it up. Don't be shy. Don't be shy with the mm -hmm. sauce. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Alright folks, hope you all enjoyed, thanks for watching, cheers.